Dying suns, boiling planets. Even as the stars that make up our galaxy begin to expire, a still more cataclysmic event is on the horizon. Another galaxy is heading our way. At Apache Point, New Mexico, scientists are finding clues to what will happen. For the past few years, they've helped lead an ambitious long-term effort to map the universe. It's called the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, and it's tracking the positions of millions of galaxies relative to our own. How gravity has drawn them into great clusters, flung them together, tossed them apart. Every night, the researchers obtain detailed information about thousands of different galaxies. They start with a series of disks. Each hole represents a galaxy in a particular region of the sky. The disks are placed into a metallic drum. Fiber optic cables are connected to each hole, and the entire instrument is inserted into the telescope. From the light of each galaxy, the team derives its position in space. A million galaxies have been charted, and a map of the cosmos is beginning to emerge. Our corner of the universe looks like this. Gravity has created a great spider's web of galaxies like our own. Between them are enormous empty regions, the deepest vacuums of space. But gravity is gradually tightening the web, drawing the galaxies together. The closer we get to home, the more territory has been studied. These maps show that our galaxy is being pulled, slowly and inexorably, toward this nearby grouping of star systems, the Virgo supercluster. But our journey there will not be peaceful, for we are traveling with a small cluster of other galaxies known as the local group, and one of them is heading right for us. We have seen other galaxies collide. We've caught them in mid-act. And it's quite spectacular. Spiral arms are flung out. Stars are cast asunder. And it looks like a train wreck, a cosmic train wreck. If I could live as long as I chose, I would make sure that I lived long enough, five, seven billion years hence, to see the impending collision between the Milky Way galaxy, a titanic collection of a hundred billion stars, and the Andromeda galaxy, another titanic collection of a hundred billion stars. That'll be spectacular. I want to be around when that happens. And what would that look like? Andromeda is our sister galaxy, our closest neighbor. And it's moving toward us at 300,000 miles per hour. As the collision becomes inevitable, Andromeda will begin to appear prominently on the night sky. If the Earth survives this long, the view will be a stargazer's dream. Ironically, the two galaxies will pass through each other like ghosts, barely touching. But gravity will rip and twist both as they pass. Seen from the Earth, Andromeda will cut the night sky while the Milky Way itself will warp. 
Once we see its individual stars, then those stars get brighter and brighter and brighter. And then the entire galaxy fills the sky. And it would compete. It would rival in brightness with our own Milky Way galaxy. There's some future generation that would see two bands of light in its night sky in anticipation of the greatest collision this part of the universe has ever seen. Gravity holds the two disks together and they begin to orbit one another, locked in a death spiral. Their outer zones will have been ripped from their centers. Our solar system may well meet this fate, sent reeling into the voids of space. If Earth does remain within the galaxy, the carnage would be written on the night sky. For the Milky Way would be torn apart. The cores of the galaxies circle each other. Finally, they merge. Deep inside the new galaxy, the old city would not be the same. The vistas we once knew would be disrupted, turned upside down. The streets going in different directions. All the landmarks changed. The new conjoined galaxy, half Andromeda, half Milky Way, would no longer be a disk, but more of a ball. And in its core, two supermassive black holes would orbit each other in a tightening spiral until they finally merge. As our new galaxy falls toward the Virgo supercluster, even more titanic collisions are in store. Collisions that will reshape everything we know about our galaxy and send it on a brand new journey. <laughs>